hey, guess what? So you remember how we were railing about Trump uh, sending in the federales into Portland and other cities and arresting people? And we told you how that's all that's all made possible by the Department of Homeland Security, which the Democrats made possible. And it's also made possible by the uh, signing of the National Defense Authorization Act, Section 1021 by Barack Obama. This is all made possible by the. This cannot happen without Democrats. Democrats are funding the Department of Homeland Security, which we told you that. That's why. That's why you wanted to vote Democrat, remember, so they could take over the House and Nancy Pelosi become Speaker. So then they would have all the purse strings and they could tell Trump what to do because he Trump can't spend any money without the House okaying it. And you see what they've done? Nothing. They gave Trump money for his border wall. They gave him an extra hundred and thirty-two billion dollars to bomb people. They fast tracked his judges. They help him deregulate Wall Street again. What, is he, what are they doing? They're ripping up his speech while they pass his legislative agenda. And so now, guess what? So now, House Democrats yank the Homeland Security spending bill from the floor. It's the second year in a row that the internal divisions within the caucus have derailed the legislation. House Democrats on Tuesday were forced to pull their Homeland Security spending bill from the floor just days before it was slated for a vote. After it faced strong blowback from both progressives and centrists within the caucus. Now, what we have been urging was for the Democrats to pressure Nancy Pelosi to put some kind of strings attached to that money that kept Trump from sending federales into cities that didn't want him. That's what, that's what we were urging. The decision to include the controversial bill in the first place was seen as a sign of confidence that clashes between the party centrists and progressives could be avoided. The bill deals with hot button issues such as immigration, border patrol and Trump's wall. Dozens of vulnerable Democrats in swing districts, as well as progressives, had threatened to torpedo the measure in recent days. The moderates argued that the bill went too far in cracking down on immigration enforcement. They're not moderates. Those are right wingers. The moderates argued the bill went too far in cracking down on immigration enforcement, while liberals, so cracking down on immigration enforcement, not cracking down on immigration, cracking down on immigration enforcement. They were like, no, let, let ICE be the fucking Gestapo that they are. That's what the Democrats were saying. And then other Democrats were saying uh, it didn't do nearly enough to rein in the Trump administration's draconian policies. So there you go. The House had planned to take up the Department of Homeland Security funding measure on Friday as part of a seven bill, one point four trillion minibus. The package will now include just six bills and it is expected to pass easily. Congressional Progressive Caucus co-chairs Pramila J. Appel and Mark Pocan, who called on House leaders to remove the bill from the package last week, praised the move. The Progressive Caucus has repeatedly articulated our concerns with the misuse of DHS funds and the agency's role in orchestrating the detention of immigrants and separation of families. We've also raised our serious concerns with the Department of Homeland Security's recent actions in Portland, where secret police have been deputized to target and harass protesters and the deployment of DHS officers to cities across the country, including Seattle and Chicago, they wrote. So do you see what so what she's saying is what we've been saying is that you should put some strings on the DHS money for Trump not to be able to do that. Nancy Pelosi wouldn't. So why are they pulling this bill? Because enough conservative Democrats, enough right wing Democrats said no. That's why. The package price tag will drop from one point three six seven trillion to about one point three one six trillion. I don't know what you think is happening in your government right now, but your government is a rapacious oligarchy that is evil and that is inflicting pain on you, and it doesn't care. So the thing that we do to other people in other countries when we invade them, we're doing that to us ourselves now. So it's, a, it's an evil, unfeeling, numb, rapacious oligarchy that commits its evil all around the world. Now they're committing it here. And if you think voting for the squad or Bernie Sanders is going to get you out of this, you are a chump.
because they're working with the people who are screwing you. They're working with them. They're not fighting them. They're working with them and for them. Hey, this is the part where I tell you where our live shows are, but there aren't any. <laughs> and then I would tell you to go join our premium, but, but nobody has a fucking job. So why don't you just enjoy the video? <laughs> 